Cindy, and we're going to be baking up some cakes with great taste. Hey everyone, today I am going to be making three different birthday cakes. The cake mix on this one ended up being a little bit crumbly, and if you ever have that problem, I just wanted to give you a little tip. You can thin your icing out with a little extra water and make a crumb coat first. Put the crumb coat on. I usually pat it down with a paper towel a little bit, and then I put the last layer of icing on. It works every time. I'm not going to be talking a lot on this video, but what I'm making here is a princess cake. And I'm using the large star tip for my border and I'm doing what's called a reverse border. I was thinking it might look nice just with the crown on top, but it definitely needs a border. So I went on and put a border on top and then I'll place the crown on top of the border. I think the cake turned out really elegant looking with the crown and the 13 fabulous topper. And I put some sprinkles on it to make it glisten a little bit. These cupcakes and cake is going to be a safari theme. It takes a little bit of time to use a grass tip to pile a lot of grass up on a cupcake. And I wanted the cupcake icing to be a little high, so I just used the star tip and kind of piled the icing up first. And then I just made my grass on top of that. And I kind of just piled it up there like you do in an Easter basket. It took a lot less time that way. And then I'm going to be putting my safari animals on top. I had a complete change of thought and I decided I didn't want a yellow cake. I wanted a green cake that looked more like grass. So I scraped off the outside yellow icing and then I put my green icing right over top of that. Actually, the green covers the yellow a whole lot easier than it covers a strawberry cake anyhow. So it worked out really well. Then I'm just using my grass tip to make a grass border so it will look like a safari cake. If you want to put a lot of time into a cake, you can use fondant, but the kids enjoy just the toys sometime on top of the cakes. I think she was really happy with the way they turned out. So here's my princess cake and cupcakes. And then I have my safari cake with all my little safari animals. And the kids loved being able to take their little safari toys home with them. Now on to the final cake. It is going to be a Lego cake and I wanted to make it look like a Lego board. So I started out by icing the cake platter or board first. Just gonna take my paper towel and pat that down a little bit and then put my cake right on top of there. I am going to be completely transparent with you all. So many people make icing a cake look so easy, like it just goes on like glass, but it doesn't. The easiest way for me to icing a cake is to use my quick icer, and it's okay to put on extra icing because you use your spatula to smooth that in and take off any excess that you don't need. And I like to use a paper towel to pat that down to make it nice and neat. They may make it look easy, but it's not quite as easy as you think. So I like to take a little time and do it the best I can. Here I am making the little person that comes on a Lego cake. And I think he's gonna be cute. I kind of like the idea of cupcakes and a small cake at a birthday party because then the kids can just grab those cupcakes anytime they want and they don't have to wait for someone to cut the cake. So here I'm doing some Lego cupcakes and then the Lego cake. And if you notice, the easiest way to put icing on those cupcakes is using my round tip. 
and just swirl that around on the top of the cake and then you can take a paper towel and pat that down and then you have nice smooth icing on top of those cupcakes. I used to hate icing in cupcakes until I learned that little trick. On these cupcakes, I'm using the little candy Legos that my daughter purchased. That's what she decided she wanted to decorate them with. So I'm just putting the little Legos on there. Believe it or not, they actually will fit together. If you take the time, you can actually build with candy Legos. I thought it was pretty cool. Now back to the cake and we're going to do the writing on it and finish up our border and our decorations with our Legos. Wait till you see what I did with the board. Here I am just putting the little dots on the cake board that I icing and making it look like an actual Lego board. And I'm taking my finger and just kind of tapping those down so that they don't have a little raised point so they look flat. And I think it turned out really cute. And for the finishing touches, I am just going to put some of those candy Legos on the cake. We're almost done. I think he was pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell so that you'll be notified every time I make a new video. Have a nice day.